Yo, what's up, Beatbox family? We are back, and this time we are gonna react to the Swiss Beatbox Kickback Wildcards for 2021. Now, I made a post in my YouTube channel community tab. I also posted a story on my Instagram to ask all of you on which wildcards should I react to. So I have a list over here based on all of your suggestions. I have 19 wildcards to react to. You can't see it, but it's over here, okay? Over here. <laughs> but yeah, there's 19 wildcards to react to. So this video is gonna be very long. So I'm probably gonna cut it up to maybe three, four, maybe five parts. Um, but yeah, I am so excited. I have not listened to all the wildcards. I have listened to uh, Tom Zachary, Dilo, and Beer, and even then I, I listened to it on my phone without any like good headsets. I just listened to it off the speaker that was coming off my yeah. phone. So it's pretty hard to judge even from that itself. Uh, but then again, yeah, I am so excited. A lot of people are telling me that the kickback wildcards were like GBB level wildcards. So I am pretty excited for this. So let's not waste any time and get right into this one. Yeah. Now keep in mind, I'm also going to rank all these wildcards and then you will be able to see my top 8 or in this case top 19 because we are going to react to 19 wildcards. So first on this list, which all of you have provided, <laughs> is Zekka. So everybody's been telling me that Zekka had the best wildcard. So let's not waste any time and get right into this one. Yo! Yo, my name is Zekka and this is my wildcard for the SBX Kickback Battle 2021. Oh. oh my god! <laughs> Yo! That vocal transition, like when he in the first bar, there was vocal bass for the oh. and then the next bar, it was a whistle. The notes match perfectly. Oh my god! <laughs> Hit it with the bass. Oh, hit it with the bass. Hit it with the bass. Hit it with the highs. Hit it with the face. Hit it with the fives. Hit it with the dots. Sip it, share that, get that, paper, move it. Oh my god! <laughs> he had another, another perfect vocal transition with the and ka! Oh my god, I'm so good as we play that! Put it in it, back, sip it, share that, get that, paper, move it. Oh my god! <laughs> This life is a joke. What the heck? Okay, two things. Okay, just one thing. His vocal transitioning was so good, like even even at the beginning here, right? Like that was so good and then like he he bumped it up to another level over here. <laughs> In it, that over here, shut up, get up, paper, move it. And then 
like like he like the amount of crazy techniques that he has with his own special sounds like somewhere at the end over here this life is a joke Okay, I know like he is the he is the first wild card that we are reacting to. So technically, for now, he, Zeka is at number one. But oh my god, that was so crazy! It's gonna be very difficult to find a wild card that is gonna be better than this. Like oh my god. Okay, let's just get on to the next wild card, man. Holy shit. Okay, next we have Vokoda. All right, let's go Vokoda. Yay! Yo, what's up? This is Vokoda, and this is my Switch Beatbox Kickback wild card. They got no swag. I don't care, cuz they got no swag. They got no swag. I don't really care cuz they got no swag. So swag. Kickers. They got so swag. They got so swag. I don't care cuz they got no swag. I want to say one thing here though, um, I believe the audio editing is the, a little weird because I think they amped the bass up too much. So like, Vokoda, if a lot of you notice, he has a really clean inward bass and it's not like Inertia. Inertia has a really dope inward bass but it's like a smooth kind of inward bass while Vokoda has like a very rough, um, dirty kind of bass which is actually clean but over here because of how the audio is mastered or mixed, it sounds like a smooth kind of inward bass which is not really working out in his favor because it works against his style you know but other than that so far it's pretty dope no swag like are you notice the bass is not hitting as hard as it usually would. I'm pretty sure one of the reasons why is because like we are, me personally, I am so used to listening to Vokoda. So maybe some things sound similar, but even if they don't sound similar, like you can tell that his bass is not hitting as hard as it usually does. Oh. Did you? Oh. No swag. No swag. I don't give up. No swag. No swag. No swag. I don't take us. Takes our no swag. No swag. Definitely not his best wildcard. Um, it is not as good as Zeka's. So currently, Vokoda is at number two. I just want to say a few things, right? Like, I get that emote bass and all that is his style, but he's gonna need more than that. Like, no matter how good you are as a beatboxer, you always hit a wall. And Vokoda has been winning a lot of battles recently, and a lot we have heard a lot of his stuff. And 99% of all of his stuff is just emo bass. So doing a lot of emo bass now could be seen or heard as to be repetitive. You know, it's like collapse when you want GBB7 to smoke. And then he went on to win La Cup, you know. And then after that, it was hard for him to win battles because we have heard his style so many times. 
and it just it did not sound as good as it did when we first heard it. So he came up with new stuff and that's how he came as far as he did. I believe Volcon has to do the same thing, so that's one thing that he needs to improve on is more variety. Um, and number two, the audio mastering really worked against him in this video because you really could not hear the impact of his bass, unfortunately, which is his strong suit because his bass always hits hard. If you see me reacting to any Bokoda videos on, my, on this channel, you will notice that I always go crazy for his bass. So I think the audio mastering was against him. So yeah, probably not his best wildcard to be honest. But yeah, let's get to the next wildcard. In this case, it is GBB champion himself. Dilo. Okay, so for Dilo, I heard a lot of people were not impressed by his wildcard. They said they were very disappointed that they expected more. Um, I've heard the wildcard, but not with headphones or earphones. I just heard it over my phone. So in a way, for now, I kind I kind of understand what people mean, but then again, I really wasn't analyzing the wildcard. So let's listen to it and see um, if I agree with the general opinion that Dilo's wildcard was very disappointing. <laughs> Yay! 2020 was a really long year for everybody and I waited a really long time so battle mode is on I waited a very long time too Dilo you have no idea how long I waited for you to make another wildcard I'm Dilo this is a big shout out to Swiss Beatbox and the SBX Kickback Beatbox Battles 2021 and this is my solo wildcard his liberal uh, it's hard to hear it not hard but like it's soft not impactful i guess running away from the face of the world His fillers in between beats are genius. Like, oh my god. Um, oh wow, okay. So far, he has had two drops. One is the first liberal drop, and currently now he's doing the. Right? Personally, I believe it's genius. Like, the first drop did not hit as hard as the other drops that he usually does. But I believe his first drop was more like a setup for this drop and the drop that will come after this. Um, I will explain more on that when I finish this video. Running away from the face of the world. into this competition then you'll find it on swiss beatbox from the start of february to the end of march okay uh, okay this was a very different wildcard okay let me just explain 
from the way I understand it, alright? Usually a wild card, you start with an intro, then a build up, then a drop, right? So it emphasizes more on the structure of things and how impactful it, it comes in the end, right? The intro, the build up serves as a purpose so that the drop makes a good impact. But in this wild card, he was not focusing on that. If you notice, he was focusing a lot on the textures. Like, okay, let me just explain, right? If you look at the first drop, somewhere around here. Running away from the face of the world. So it's like a semi-hard drop, right? And then you would think that he's going to go for something much more impactful in the next drop, but he does... He does this. Running away from the face of the world. So it just sounds more wet, more fluid, and it just brings a different vibe, personally in my opinion, alright? And then, for something so wet, so fluid, he comes and then... Oh, that sounds so wrong, wet and fluid and then he comes, alright? <laughs> but like, from a drop that's so fluid, he transitions to a drop that's very dry. And then at the end, what he does is he hits us with a powerful drop. So like, it was a play on textures. So that itself is skill because you don't see a lot of beatboxers doing that in their routines or even wild cards. So I would say that was pretty or genius. It did not hit as hard as his other routines or even other drops from other wild cards, I would say. Uh, but it was genius. In terms of technicality, this guy was next level. All his fillers, his fillers were genius. So personally, I'm gonna put Dilo in second place above Vokoda, but below Zekka. Yeah, but that's all for part one, people. See you in the next episode. Or I don't know, next video. <laughs>